So now I would like to drive this important formula. Remember, in our previous lesson, we have learned how to solve quadratic equation by completing the square method. So that method of completing the square is what we are going to apply to drive that general formula. So let me wipe the board. The first thing you should remember is the general form of a quadratic equation, which is what? E x squared plus b x plus c equals zero. This is a, remember. Um, if you could remember yesterday while solving quadratic equations by completing the square method, I told you the first step is to take the constant term to the right hand side. So this is our constant term. We are going to take it to the other side. So this is step number one. Leaving a x squared plus b x equals as positive c crosses over it becomes negative c. Next, I told you to divide every single term by the leading coefficient. That is when the leading coefficient is not 1. So we assume that a is not equal to 1. So we are going to divide 1, 2, 3 by a because we want to see x squared by itself without coefficient. So if you take the whole of a x squared, or should I do it? Okay, let me do it step by step. a x squared divided by a, you do for all of them, b x divide by a equal to minus c divide by a. You can see that this a will cancel a, right? We have only x squared here plus b over a multiplied by x. This is the same thing as this. This is equal to negative c divided by a. So step number three, we are going to add on both sides square of half the coefficient of x, if you could remember. What is coefficient of x? Is b divided by e. So half of it, half of b divided by e all squared is what we are going to add on both sides just to make the left hand side to be a perfect squared quadratic expression. So 1 times b is b. So we have b divided by 2 times a is 2a. If you square this, it means what? b raised to the power of 2 is b squared. 2 raised to the power of 2 is 2 times 2, which is 4. a raised to the power of 2 is a times a, which is a squared. Can you see what we are going to add? We are going to add b squared divided by 4a squared on both sides. So we have x squared plus b divided by a multiplied by x. Then you add that term, which is b squared divided by 4a squared. Do the same thing. Uh, we are going to add it here. b squared 4a squared minus c divided by a. This c divided by a is negative, remember. All right. So now the left-hand side is a perfect squared quadratic expression. And how do we factorize a perfect squared quadratic expression? You take a single x without power. Then half of the coefficient of x. Half of this will be b divided by 2a, right? Then you square everything. If you expand this, you have to get this back. Remember, this is half of the coefficient of x, b over 2a. It is always here. So this is equal to, now we have fraction here. Let me take the LCM. The LCM of 4 and 1, you know, naturally we have 1 here, right? 4 and 1, we have 4. a squared and a, we have um, a squared. This is the LCM between a squared and a. So if you take the whole of 4a squared, you plug it here, it is going to go exactly one time. And 1 times b squared is b squared. Then this minus. If you plug in 1 into 4, we have 4. a into a squared, we have only a single a. Just like a squared is a times a, right? If you divide it by a, 1a will cancel 1a here. We only have a. So the whole of a into 4a squared will give us 4a times c. We have 4ac. This is what we have. Now, to clear this power of 2, we are going to take square root of both sides. So let's do that. If you take square root of the left-hand side, the power of 2 will go, leaving x plus b divided by 2a. x plus b divided by 2a. And this is equal to plus or minus 
the square root of the right hand side which is b squared minus 4ac divided by 4a squared you cannot easily take square root of the numerator but you can take square root of the denominator because square root of 4 is 2 square root of a squared is a so we have x plus b divided by 2a to the left equal to plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by square root of 4 is 2 square root of a squared is a next we are trying to make x the subject so we are going to take this term to the other side so x alone equal to as this crosses over it becomes negative b divided by 2a plus or minus the square root um, b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a if you observe we have two fractions of the same denominators and whenever you are adding or subtracting fractions of equal denominators you are free to add or subtract the numerators and assign them a single denominator so this is x equals minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4 a c divided by a single denominator which is 2 a now you can see that this is the general formula used to solve every form of quadratic equation and this formula can be derived using the completing the square method uh, from the general form of quadratic equation so now let me give you an assignment number one derive the general formula for solving quadratic equation quadratic equations the number two solve x squared plus 3x plus 4 equal to 0. I want you to solve this quadratic equation using the general formula.